Now, go to Theme tab up here. Okay, just extract the 57352 aerial, which is right here. Right click, extract here. After you've done that, double click on the folder arrow right here. Now, just drag in arrow clone, which is here. And then click on apply new theme. Make sure to do, to do what I did. Extract that file, 57352-Arial. And then extract it. Open up the folder that says arrow. Go inside it. Just drag this in, in appearance preferences. So once this window pops up, click on apply new theme. And it should change your own computer, I mean uh, Ubuntu, differently. Now it looks like the theme of Windows Vista. Or like right here. Now it should set it to custom, which is here. Save it, click on save as in appearance preferences, and name it Windows Vista theme. Click on save. After that's done, you should have it down here Windows Vista theme. Okay, once that's done, now we're going to enable transparency, which is up up here. Make sure to have a good graphics card before you do this, before your Ubuntu crashes, if you have a good graphics card. So, just close these folders and close Appearance Preferences. After that's done, leave this folder arrow. Sorry if I said delete it, but leave it open. Now open up arrow again. Now you should see arrow underscore blue, emerald. Now, that's why the reason we downloaded emerald from Synaptic Package Manager. So leave this alone and do not delete arrow folder. Do not. Now just go to System, Preferences, and Emerald Theme Manager. After that's done, it should be empty in Emerald Theme Manager 7.2. Click on Import. Now you should see the folder on your desktop. Cl double click on Arrow, Arrow underscore blue Emerald, which is the one right here double click on it now you should see it here so you should see arrow underscore blue so you can just close arrow folder now we're gonna have to get compiz I have a video on how to get compiz if you don't have it go to my video which is showing it right now on this video if you do not have compiz after you install compiz at the top bar in the menu bar where it says system click on system preferences and advanced desktop effects settings. If it says Compiz desktop effects settings, that means just click on it also. Once you open it up, okay, now search on the filter and the search bar, put in window decorator. Decoration, I mean. So you should see it here under effects. Uh, click on window decorated decoration. Okay, under command, in this command right here, delete everything that's in it and put it there, emerald, and then press spacebar, hyphen, hyphen, re, I mean dash, dash, sorry about that, then replace. Now, highlight it, right click, copy, go to applications, accessories, and terminal. In the terminal, right click paste and press enter now you should have the arrow but one problem is is that if you close the terminal it will be disabled so we will fix that by just going just put it back in the terminal the code emerald replace press enter and it should be back if you experience problems by the windows turning red and blue do what I did just redo what I did so back to the subject to keep this if you close terminal it will go back to nothing at the top of the window so just click on back in compass configuration settings manager on check mark that box window decoration and yes the windows are not showing so what you gotta do is close the terminal right click over here on this uh, menu stuff up here oh, sorry Go to File up here and click on Close Window. Once you close it, check around that box next to Window Decoration. 
and you should have it back when you close terminal just click on close and it has that glowy stuff on Ubuntu close it close everything and you should be good you got the Vista theme you can delete this menu bar up here delete uh, I'm just gonna leave these to me and yeah so you got your start menu to search and whatever your accessories scroll down back games there's all your games in there and yeah it's pretty different if you're used to the menu bar it's kinda different like they got control panel and you got everything in here from the profess preferences and administration screensaver and all that's in here and yeah you can add icons near the task tray over here um, you can go ahead and get Windows Vista wallpapers like these let me just go to Mozilla I'm just gonna go Google put in Windows Vista wallpaper oops and then this one see full size image just choose it random on Google just go to images up here and put in Windows Vista wallpaper when you're on Google and choose whatever make sure the size is good so it can fit your screen now I'm just go to that one and wait for this to load once the picture loaded that you got on Google just right click on it um, save image as or you can set it as desktop background put in your pictures and save mm. okay I did mine differently I just saved it to my pictures I went to appearance preferences and background I added it in from pictures and boom I got it so yeah this has been a tutorial by the micro helper on how to make Ubuntu look like Windows Vista